So one very big question I get asked a lot is, King Gobina, please, what is the difference between a WordPress e-commerce website and a Google site e-commerce website? What are the differences? Are they the same? And which one is good for me? And in today's video, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to show you the best e-commerce platform and I'm going to also help you make that decision in showing you the one that's good enough for you to start with and for you to, you know, host your e-commerce website with. So if that is what you want to know, then you're welcome because this video is actually going to help you or guide you and show you everything I've talked about. Okay. So if you're excited about that, I'm also excited and let's get this video started. So welcome to my channel. My name is Kingsley from Kingomina.com. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them on this channel now if you have been following my channel you know that i talk about google sites and e-commerce a lot so i want to do this video to help you guide you and show you the best e-commerce platform that is good enough for you to start with okay so this is an e-commerce website from google sites this is an e-commerce website i made with google sites and this is an e-commerce website i made with wordpress now before i get started before i continue i want to show you i want to, I want to tell you that this website was this website is for one of our subscriber okay so i actually made this website for him for his business so if you want something like this um you can message me i can set this thing up for you but okay um if you also want to purchase um, beautiful um, jewelry or clothes or something, you can also come to this website. At, it has a very good um, um, product, so you can also come to this website and purchase that. Now, continue with the video. So, what are the differences between a WordPress e-commerce website and a Google site e-commerce website? So, one major difference is with a WordPress website, you have total control. Now, if you know WordPress a lot, you know that for this website now, you have total control of everything that is happening on this website. This is how the dashboard of WordPress looks like, and I'm sure you already know that, okay? So, right here, you can add whatever plugin you want to add or whatever thing you want to add that will make your website very well. There's no limitations, like you can add many things and anything possible as far as there's a plugin for it you can do that okay but with google sites what you see right now this is google site you are limited to what google site has to offer there is no way to add plugin now let me show you what i mean if i go back to the editor this is what you are limited with this is what you can work with you can add any form of plugin to this e-commerce website okay so you just need to work with this and create the best possible scenario now remember wordpress is not always good for everybody okay so make sure you keep watching because i'm at the end of this video i'm going to show you the one that is perfect for you okay so one another major difference is with wordpress you can see that the design is different and uh, you can change themes you can upload you can use different themes if you come over to this appearance section where is it appearance yeah go to themes you can simply edit or upload any kind of team you want so right now i'm using astra team on this website so you can go if you go to google's um um google sites you can always you can just use what you have there on google site so like this one i just created it from um, a blank canvas but there are various teams as well on google site but they are just there like there's no specific thing there but with wordpress you can select you can also search for random you know teams that are you know high quality so like i said um another major difference between wordpress and google sites is with google sites it's relatively very easy to set up like you don't really need much stress so all you just need to do like for example if i needed to add more products right now i can just simply come over here drag this three stuff and put it over here very simple so i just upload the product image add the text and add buttons like it's that's very simple as you can see very simple if you want to create a page just go over to this pages section and click on add a new page and add the page so very simple why with wordpress you need to know how to use some page builders you need to know how to use elementor you need to if you can't use elementor you need to add know how to use some other page builders for you to get a stunning website that looks so good like this okay so another major difference is with google sites with google sites all your website is hosted on your google drives like you need to 
if you have a google account so all your website will be hosted on your google drive um and that's that's sincerely for me doesn't i don't like it because you, it seems as if you don't have total control of it but hey it's also a good stuff because you're not paying for hosting why with wordpress you have total control whatever you are paying for like hosting you have 100 percent control of it that means you can decide to move from this specific um hosting or remove your website from this specific place to another one why with google sites you can't move your website to one google account to another one well maybe you can do that but you know you just people don't normally do that okay since it's your google account you just keep using it but it's also an advantage because you you, you relatively have not doesn't need to pay for any hosting or so just keep using your google site and stay cool and enjoy it okay so with google sites it's the designs are almost similar like um the designs are always similar although you can do some magic you can create some some things very very different but they are you know kind of similar because um it's something that i know okay why with wordpress uh there are a lot of teams there are billions of teams that you can use that as well that you know premium and free teams as well that you can use that looks quite different now with google with wordpress uh like for an e-commerce website if i click on this product right now as you can see it's going to display the product image and it's going to display some text and everything and i can as well go see different variations of the product and as you can see i can see different colors of the of the dress which looks good i can zoom in why with google sites it's kind of different because right now this is the only image you can see although you can add more images for this product but i mean um it's not going to be looking like this it's not going to have all this um details or this um details the amount striked out and add to cart and all these things um wordpress is i mean google site is basic you just can do just buy now and um stuff like that okay so um yeah this is what you can do so uh, and there are other differences so with wordpress you can do seo that means you can also post blog you can if you go to post right now you can add posts okay and these posts are going to appear a blog sections where your customers can read well with what uh, google site um you might not be able to do that you might need to um kind of do it differently and i've showed you guys exactly how to create a blog using google site i've done that video uh, i don't know if i even showed you exactly how to do it 100 percent but I made a similar video like that you can check my channel okay so yeah those are the differences as you can see with google sites and uh, wordpress okay so um that's like very different and um as you can see whichever one works for you so now um in answering the question which one is the best e-commerce platform to use well two of them are best on their own because not everybody needs to use wordpress so if you're just getting started and you have no money you don't want to invest in anything you just want a website to get you started with then google site is that website okay because it that's the purpose it's just there for you to get started you have no excuse not to start this is a new year so you have a new excuse not to start okay but with wordpress you need to have some things ready you need to have your domain name as you can see domain you need to have your hosting you need to have all these things in place for you to set up a successful e-commerce platform and uh it's just it's going to look nice why with what uh, google, uh, um, google site you you just you just you just have this basic stuff and you you need to work with this and yo it's it's, it's it's that way okay so this google site is good for someone who is just getting started and have no resources to you waste or to not waste uh i won't call it waste come on you have no resources to get started you just want a website to do some things for you then you need to use google sites but if you have some money to spend on hosting and domain and um, you have the time to set up your wordpress website to look great and have the best customers then wordpress is that one for you because it just makes sense for you to use wordpress for your e-commerce website so these are the two differences and trust me there are more which i didn't talk about in this video but of course you can tell me in the comment section what you think and i'll be there to answer your comments okay so google sites and wordpress they are different and they serve 
similar purposes but they are different okay so whichever one works for you google site might work perfectly for somebody why wordpress can work perfectly for the other person so two of them are best on their grades but i think wordpress have a slight edge not a slight edge wordpress have a like a lot of edges above google sites because you have total control you can add plugins you can add any payment gateway on wordpress like i forgot to say that as well you can add any payment gateway on wordpress and it's done automatically like simultaneously like you don't need to stress yourself just add the necessary plugins and you have it and with google sites i'm sorry you need to work with some specific things and you're just limited but it's perfect for somebody who's getting started and have no resources if you have resources my recommendation anytime would be to use wordpress okay so shout out to triple seven jewelry so um he's one of our lucky subscriber um shout out to him um uh, you, you use this website i so much like the site and the products you can order things here and um yeah so if you enjoyed this video if you want me to make more of these videos tell me in the comment section and i'll do that for you so i have a lot of videos that are coming up next uh a google site video uh, I'm gonna make um, so many Google Sites videos showing you guys different things you can do with your Google Sites if you're just getting started, and as well, I'm going to make WordPress videos showing you different things you can do with your WordPress website. Okay, so yeah, if you enjoyed all this type of content, if you want to make money online as well, I'm going to show you different ways to make money online. If you enjoy all these contents, then hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon beside it so that you won't miss any video once I drop them on the channel. I'll see you guys on my next videos. Thank you very much.